Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, please click on the subscribe button down there and make sure you hit that bell as well. You don't want to miss another episode from Dude RV. Got lots of things going on around here. Today, we're going to head on over to Bardwell Lake. Once again, I was there a couple months back, but we're going to head over there today and we're going to spend the day deep doing a deep dive into High View Park on Bardwell Lake. So let's get on the road and we'll make that little drive over to High View Park, Bardwell Lake. Come on, let's go. Shazam! Just like that. Highview Park, Bardwell Lake, site number eight. And man, it is just—it is—it's going to be a—it's going to be a beautiful day. We're here at the end of September, September 26, 2020. We're still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, but we're not going to let that stop us from getting out and enjoying beautiful fall weather check out Bardwell Lake site number eight let's let's take a real quick tour well first while we're here we've got a concrete table and a metal roof and we're literally so I'm not gonna have to break out the table to set up the kitchen because I can set the set the all my gear up right there now this is a very deceptive site. Got a fire ring, a charcoal cooker, and of course somebody left me their trash. How nice of them. Asphalt pad. And when we get back here to the back, this is a 30 and a 50 amp with water what is deceptive is it looks like it's a really level site but it's really not but what really you need to be concerned about is you can see that hole that is where someone's stabilizer jack sank into the ground that's why i use those yellow blocks on a lot of the asphalt sites the sinking in will really mess you up now there is a a stop bar back here water's at the back of the side as well but man just look how beautiful is this if I had a, a mid-entry door I'd be spot-on all right so I'm gonna gear up and we're gonna go check out Highview Park it's not a whole lot to check out here uh, but we're going to go find what there is to find and see what there is to see. I do want to say those curbs, that's crowding my, cramping my style. So I got to get a little red through here somehow. I guess I should have unloaded a little red before I backed all the way in. All right, let's go see some stuff. Highview Park. Bardwell Lake. 
one of the most appealing features of this park is not the loud truck. It is the shoreline. You can, I'm pretty sure this is, this is high, but man, I mean, you're just, just right there. I don't know how deep it is, but somebody got a trot line out there. And you can just walk right down to the water. All right, let's go see some more stuff. High View Park, Bardwell Lake. Well, we got a, got a good breeze coming in today out of the south. I'm over here at what is called the picnic area and the sign back there says Swim Beach. But I guess it's closed because of COVID-19. I won't be doing any swimming anyway, but you can see the little rope is not in place. It should actually stretch all the way out across there. So you could go swimming here if it was open. All right, let's go see what else there is to see. So I'm thinking the, the swim area, the day use area here at Highview Park has been closed for a while as well because that road being tore up that bad is not a new thing. I don't, I don't understand. Why leave the garbage? I, I don't get it. Last month, month, you know, but several weeks ago, I was I camped at Waxahachie Creek Park, which is here on Bardwell Lake. And we saw a lot of this, not so much of that, but we saw a lot of this over there. So I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Are the day use areas closed off because they were being abused? I don't know. Let's go see what else there is to see. High View Park, Bardwell Lake. They seem to be suffering from the same dilemma as Waxahachie Creek. Courtesy docks are non-functional. But there is this one. There be the dam. Not a lot of stuff to see in this little park. All right, I'll go find something else. It really makes me mad. And it's just, yeah, okay, you can drink your beer, but there's a dumpster right up there. Why do we have to just pile the garbage up and leave it? Pigs. Highview Park, Bardwell Lake. They actually have a group pavilion, but it does not seem to be, of course they keep the group pavilions locked up, but it doesn't look like it's been maintained very well, if at all. All right, stay tuned. Dogs are hogging my shot. <laughs> so we're here at, at the High View Park Marina. We're gonna go take a look, check it out. Maybe come down here and do some fishing in a little while.
noise is allowed on the marina. All right, I'll go figure out what we're doing here. They said I could go walk around and, and take a look, but I will be coming back to do some fishing because... Howdy, there's no wind. And from what I understand, you can fish just about anywhere you want to fish on the platform. You're not you're not limited to just the, the fishing sites. So you can go back under the the what the word what, what's the word? Marina. You can go back under the marina and catch some fish. Apparently you can fish back here as well. Let's go take a look. Fishing lounge. Let's find out if they're catching anything. Y'all doing any good? Just got over here. Just caught bass and a crappie out there. The first one. But other than that, that's it. <laughs> Doesn't sound like very good luck to me. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. So you heard it. You heard it from them, not from me. They're not biting today, but we'll probably come back later on this afternoon and try our hand. Highview you park, Bardwell Lake. Had some lunch. I'm gonna go down to the fishing platform, fishing barge. I'm, I'm gonna go do some fishing. Highview you park, Bardwell Lake. I got a fish. A small largemouth bass. So there's a there's a pilot from out here somewhere. When I was out here at Waxahachie Creek Park, there was a pilot that was flying like real low over the, the lake and just looking unsafe. Well, I saw that same, it was a different aircraft, I think. I only just saw a little bit of it, but hopefully I got it on video. So if, it, if I did catch it, here it is. All right, so I'm hearing that plane again. Of course, it's back over there, so I can't see the lake, but I, I'm hearing it doing the, the buzzing again. Two hours, nothing. And I'm not the only one. I'm thinking about maybe time to go back and start cooking a burger. No fish. Of course, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> There were very few people that caught anything. There were a few people that were catching a few fish, but nobody was catching a lot of fish. I got a special dinner treat tonight. I am going to do, I'm gonna do the Bear Spray Hawaiian Samurai Burger. <laughs> Wait till you see this. I'll do this again.
Good morning. Bardwell Lake. High View Park. We're about done here. I do want to say, in today's modern society, when you leave your house, you should expect to be on camera because there are cameras all over the place. You drive through an intersection, you're on a camera. You go to the bank, you're on a camera. You go to a store, you're on a camera. Just know that there are cameras everywhere now. So if you're out in public, don't be surprised if your image shows up on camera somewhere. With that being said, those of us that run around intentionally shooting video have to respect your privacy. So there are laws that prevent us from filming in areas where you have the expectation of privacy. But at the lake, camping, at swimming, on, the, on a boat, there's no expectation of privacy. So you can't really get upset if someone is, is shooting video. And I'm, and I'm saying this because it, it was brought to my attention yesterday that there were a couple of people that have complained to park management about me running around shooting B-roll footage with no specific subject in mind other than just uh, I'm going to be creating a montage time lapse uh, to give you the experience of what it's like here at Highview Park, Bardwell Lake. I think I know who one of them was, is the guy on the, the pontoon boat. And the irony in that is when you're walking into the marina, the Highview Marina, there's a sign that says that you're on camera. So why would, why would people be upset if I was shooting video? And I had permission from the management of the marina to shoot video on the marina. So it's not like I just walked in and started filming. I, I specifically asked, is it okay if I shoot some video of your facility from your facility? She said, absolutely. So <laughs> no expectation of privacy. And I had permission while I was on private property. All right, with that being said, have you park Bardwell Lake. A great waypoint stop. Uh, I think it's a, it's a good weekend camping destination. Just don't have real high expectations for lots of activities. You can go swimming, you can go fishing, and you can go boating. And you can camp, toast marshmallows on the campfire. Uh, the park hosts are, are fantastic folks. He gave me a little uh, recommendation and I'll talk about that on the on another video but anyway I'm closing it out right here I'm gonna stop rambling and stop talking and get on the road come pay a visit to High View Park Bardwell Lake uh, if you've not already please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well you don't want to miss another episode of Dude RV and for those of you who have been following along thank you I'm very deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. Y'all keep me going. With that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?